Hey guys, Greasy Bear here, and today I want to address a simple issue when we're starting KitOps Synth for the first time. A lot of people get the idea that as soon as they install Synth, that they just load the recipe here and they follow Chip's video to create a cube like we normally do, tabbing into the face, selecting a face, tabbing back to the object, then clicking do it. Then running into this problem where nothing happens. Then you check the recipe and all the inserts are missing or you don't know what's wrong and you're confused. Well, for most people, the problem is that in KitOps, the Synth Master folder is not loaded. In order to run Synth and the recipes, you're going to need that load, load that folder. So go to the preference, go into KitOps, and I'll start over, pull down the drop menu, select File Paths, click on Add a K-Pack, and drive to the Synth Master K-Pack, wherever that is on your drive, and do what I'm doing. And accept. And I'm going to move that pack to the top of my list so it shows up first on my K-Packs. I'm going to refresh. And I'm going to save my preferences. Now, on my KitOps, it's loaded on the top here, as you can see. So I'm going to start a new file. Uh, I'm going to set up my KitOps like I normally do. Go to my Synth. I'll go down to load the menu or load the recipe. Same recipe I did. Okay. Create the cube. Zoom in. Select the face. Back out. Hit do it. Now we have a corridor. I'll turn my overlays off and dev mode on. I'll zoom in a little bit. And I'll widen this a bit. Hit do it. And okay, a little taller, it's too wide, and do it. And there we go. Now we're working with something. That looks good to me. So I'm going to change this to EV because I'm going to set this up for iterations. Um, I'm going to make this 1980 uh, by 1040. Oops, 1040. Okay. Uh, next, I'm going to add a camera to the view. And once I have the camera, Command Alt Zero, and then go to my view, camera to view, get that right where I want to do, focus, turn that off, go back to synth. Now I'm going to select the cube that created the corridor, and I'm going to select auto update, and then I'm just going to click on the seeds, and it'll show you the variations that it makes, which is really cool. So if we want to do an iterator, we're going to set up a folder, a temporary folder on our C drive, and I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm going to name this folder New Corridors. Okay. And I'm going to accept that. And then I'm going to set up the iterator to do seeds 10 through 20. And I'm just going to turn that down and I'm going to hit start. So right now, this is ripping the seeds 10 through 20, and it's generating. So while it's processing, I can actually go into the folder and where it's generating the, iterate, the iterations, and I can go in here and look at them. Now, after they're done, you can go back and, you know, just for another instance, I'm going to go back into dev mode. I'm going to switch this to, say, seed 5. Um, and then I'm going to do another set of iterations, but this time I'm going to do zero through, let's see, um, whoops, um, we'll do, uh, we'll do 10 and hit start. All right, good. And once they're processing, I can go back and look at the ones I already have done while the other ones are generating. So I just double click into the first one and wow. And there you go. Everyone's a beautiful starting concept too. And it goes to show you how the variations turned out. So that looks really good. So while it's in the background, you got other ones running. So you can just basically run them all night if you wanted to sit there and run them all night. So that's a simple basic understanding on how Synth works from the startup, and I hope this solved any simple issues that you might have had getting started. So thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.